You want to wipe pretty hard. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she didn't go away that hard. What a hard. strike, huh? <laughs> Randy! Good job. Yeah, she come out of the sky. Or into the sky is the word to be. You gonna hand grab her? You wanna net her or what? Oh, that's a small guy. I think I'll hand grab it here. Okay, we can net her if you want. See how she's hooked. Take a look here. Not as big as I thought. No. Alright. It's still fun. Oh yeah, nice fight. Yeah. Careful down there. Need a cutters or anything? Just yeah, holler. I think I want some cutters and pliers. Hang on, I'll just hand them to you. Thanks. Your your audio fell out, so you're in good shape there. Okay. Real quick. Yeah. Pretty fish, huh? Oh, gorgeous. Spots? Yeah, I really hit hard. Kind of skywalked a little bit on you, didn't it? Yeah, it came out of nowhere. That fish has been caught before. You see the, the tails, how it's torn? Yeah. The new fin saver net we got from Beckman will prevent that. We'll right. probably get a chance to see that before the before we're all done Look here. Look at the nice markings on our tail here. Yep. Spots? Yep. And they are all spotted up here, unless they're a hybrid. Right. All right, let's get her back. <laughs> Boy, she came up and hammered it. Yes, she did. There she nice goes. Healthy fish. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm back at the boat with me, Randy Tyron. We're at Century Lodge on Osborne Bay in Eagle Lake. 13 years ago, he had a chance to fish with me in one of my boats. He's back today in this 522 Ranger. We're going to catch some giant muskies. Tell you what, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Century Island muskies with Randy Tyron right here on Osborne Bay in Eagle Lake. Good job, Randy. Hit veggies? Yeah, lots of nice weeds along here. Oh, these weeds are in great shape, Randy. They're about anywhere between 6 inches to 10 inches below the surface. And thick. They're lush. They're lush. Area like this gives the fish an opportunity to move anywhere they want. They can be underneath this weed canopy. Right. Getting out of that bright sun, if that's the case. And history will prove that they'll move right out on these rocks too, but I gotta be honest with you. My odds are right here in the weed bed. It's hard to hard to put your odds anywhere else when the weeds are looking so so this pretty. Veg, yeah, this vegetation's in really good shape. The did the, did the weed did the weeds come up really quick, Randy? Yeah, real quick. Real quick. Typical, untypical, actually cold early spring kind of retarded everything yeah. for a while. Yeah, even the you know even the guests that I, that came up they were saying how it was a cooler, cooler summer than most yeah. down the states. Yeah. Uh, and it was you know definitely like that here. We, you know we'd have a, a hot day now and again, but. Uh, Usually in June it starts to warm up real quick and the water gets warm. And, but uh, we were fishing in uh, pretty cool water. We were doing real well in the walleye uh, this spring because of the they were you know on those rocky points and reefs real well. Yeah. But that whole time you saw no vegetation. Very little. Yeah. No, no, very no. little. It's just it's just come up uh, you know in the last month, but it's it's come strong. Uh huh. You know? It's come real strong. Are you finding the fish using it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We'll have they started? Have you found any movements yet where they've actually gone out to the rocks? Um, well, rockweed combination's been doing a lot. So, so you I have mean, to have both of them. Yeah, I, that's a lot of times that's where we're pulling our big fish off of. So this is a great little finger for that. You got absolute perfect cabbage bed in here. Two or three intermittent cabbage beds as we go out here, and then a rock finger that goes out 150 yards. Good wind coming across the two, which I think is advantageous. It breaks up that light. Yeah, I like it too. Let's those fish crawl up on top of there. 
I think a fish would move away from the back of that, you know, back in that corner all the way out here in the one evening. Oh, in half hour. I'll move quick. Yeah. When they decide there's something happening. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a muskie. Yeah. On top of the rocks. And I just said they haven't been <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> I'm not sure what I got here. You want me to get a net? Uh, I think so. Okay, hang tight. I'm taking my time. Yeah. Yeah, and I just made some ridiculous comments. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. Nice fish. When you're ready to come my way, just let me know. Yep, she's coming up a little bit. Okay. Nope. She the was. It's so dark you can't see down in there. Wait till you see this fin saver when we get her in here. You're going to like this. All right. See how that thing goes down in there? Yeah. You got a solid 44, 46 inch fish here, guy. Let me get myself ready here. You want my extractor? Yeah. I think it's all right on the corner, so. Here you go. Thank you. Watch your rod tip. There you go. There you go. Good job, Randy. Thank you. Get a hold of that lower jaw. Good job. Come on, girl. There you go. There you go. You got her. Just on the corner of the mouth. Yeah. Right where, 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 where you like it. Yeah. Just drop it then. I'll get her. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Good clean fish. Let me see the side of her. Good job. What do you think? 45? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's about the 45. So yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Absolutely. Let's get her back in there. You're a little older than the last time we shot together. <laughs> that one, uh, that one 15 years ago would have had you jumping up and down the back of the boat. <laughs> oh, I still love catching them. Oh yes, don't you though? Pretty fish. I'll never get, never get sick of catching them. No. She's okay. There she goes. She's out of here. All right. I just bumped some of the cabbage. Bumped the cabbage? Good. This is a pretty good little spot here, Randy. It's a big cabbage bed. And this really looks to be about the best fishable cabbage that we've seen, and I'll tell you why. It's actually below the surface. Right. We can work our baits over it without getting too hung up. Yeah, I can see cabbage tops out here. There could be a, a number of fish in a spot like this. I just love throwing jackpots. You I like got, them too, huh? Yeah, I got cabbage here in front of us. Yeah, jackpots when it comes to this, you know, top water stuff. I like throwing some prop baits too, but jackpots are just they're killers for big fish. I can see the tops right in there. Can you see them? Yeah. Every now and then you can see little minnows jump. She is. I'm going to need a net, Randy. All right, I'm with you. Good job, Bob. She's coming around. I'm going to bring it around this side. Okay. Well, she crawled right out of that weed bed, didn't she? There we go. I got her. Nice fish. Good job. 46, maybe? Good job. Man, she just, I bet there's more in here too. We didn't fish this thing for what, five minutes? <laughs> Six right minutes? Away. Yeah. 
Right after supper. Okay, I'm going to have to get a spreaders on her. Yeah, she just hammered it too. It's like you were saying earlier that when they've come up for the top waters, they just, just, it. They just hit it. Yep. No follow, no nothing, just hit it. Ooh, she's an ornery cuss in there. Yeah, let's see what do we got here. Huh? She's full of vinegar. Let's see what do we got there. <laughs> she don't like me touching her though. Okay, let's cut these. They're not through the webbing at all, but I don't want those hooks flinging around with my... Come back and get you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. She's giving me a shot. Yeah, she'll be okay here in a second. Uh -uh. Yeah, I got her now. This one was not coming unbuttoned. Mm -mm. There you go. Good yeah. job. Almost got her. Yeah, she was not coming unbuttoned. It's nice when you can leave them in the net and work on them, you know? Yep. Lift her up real quick. Yeah. Take a look. Uh, she's eating something. Probably around 44, maybe 45. She's not any 46, so like I thought she was. I'm going to sit it right back down, okay, Randy? Okay, I'll get your net out of the way. She's ate something, though. Look at that. Yeah, she's got a belly on her. Yeah. Pretty fish. Nice, healthy fish. Yeah, I'm, I'm fair at 45, I think. You think? Mm-hmm. There you go, baby. I'm not going to with her. We just fish all the way through this whole bay, huh, Randy? Okay. Sound okay? Yeah. Try to get some tosses way back in the back through that rice. In the, in the pockets? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was bright and sunny for the first two days. This is the first thing that even resembles classic conditions. I'm excited. Yeah, we're also only about two minutes away from the start of the miner. The afternoon miner. Right. That's a nice lane right there. Yeah, we got some things in our favor. Yeah, we do. Well, since this rain and cloud has come in here, I, you know, sometimes they will cling to this stuff, but they'll get a little bit, they'll get a little bit roamy under this kind of stuff too and pull away from that rice. So you got a good spot right in there. What I'm going to do is focus on stuff up here and give you the shots going straight in. Okay. Sounds good. That way we can kind of share this water. Sure. A lot of times I find the second guy coming through gets a fish. Oh, absolutely, you know? especially if they're lethargic. You're going to get a shot from this side, Randy, back up in there, two shots. Okay. They're going to open up pretty good. There's only one way to, to get that spot back there. Here comes one. Yep. You got her. I'm on it. Nice fish, Randy. That's different fish. Nice fish. It's going in the weeds. Boy, she's back in that rice big yes, time. Yes, she was. That is a nice fish. Yep. I think I got her hooked good. You got her good. Take your time. I'm good. Go ahead. It's coming around. Okay. Is that a hybrid? 
don't know. I don't think so. Here she comes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice fish. That one's 49, maybe 50. <laughs> that was a good fight. <laughs> All right, let me get myself collected here. Oh, man, oh, man. Good job. Thank you. Okay, hang on. I'll hold the net. I'll give you some tools, okay? All right. Grab I got rim. some pliers here. I'll give, you, I'll give you cutters. You want me to cut the hooks real quick? Um, if you want. Okay, slide them up. Do that. I'm going to have you sit down in the seat there. Okay. I'll, I'll, get in. In. I'll get in here. Yeah, right there. I'll get in here and I'll cut some hooks. Sounds, sounds good. Yes, indeed. The fronts are out, I think. Front hook's out. Back hook's in a little. Yeah, she's okay. I wanna... she's... She came to the net pretty green. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to cut these down here, okay? Okay, sounds good. Just hang on there for just a second. Sure. I'm going to drop my nip at it. There's no hooks through the mesh, but they're still in the way. I can't emphasize enough, in my opinion, how important it is to do what we're doing right here. Because if you were to unfortunately get one of them, you're in trouble. Yeah, because you're connected to her. All right. And yeah. she's only got one thing on her mind. Randy, you couldn't have lost that fish if you had to. Yeah, I, hope, I said, said it pretty good. You couldn't have lost that girl if you had to. Okay, do you want me to try to take the one out of her Let mouth? Let me take a look here. Good job. Nice fish. Uh, let's see what yeah, watch your fingers yeah, right there. Yeah. Extractor? Yep, that'll be good. There you go. Superb. Good job, good job. Hold her up for us. <laughs> there we go. Oh, kind of hold her more. There you go. Hold her. Yeah, there you go. Good Pretty job. Pretty fish. Nice, healthy fish, oh, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. How long do you think she is? I'm going to go 40, probably seven or eight. Seven or eight, right in there. Sounds what do great. you think? Huh? Ready to get her back? Yeah, slide her back. All right. Boy, she did a good job fighting it, too. Yes, didn't she you? did. Oh, she's a sweetheart. Nice big hat on her. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. There we go. Good job, Bob. Good job. Good fish. Take your time. Yeah, I'm watching your line. Yeah. I see it. Good fish, Bob. Yep, it's a nice fish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me know what you want to do. Hang on, I'll bring her around. Okay. Oh, come on, girl. Hang on, on, hang on, hang on. She's barely hooked. It's a 50. There we go. There you go, Randy. All right. Keep the net up. Keep the net up, Randy. I got her. I got her. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, thank you. That's a 50, Randy. Awesome. <laughs> That's a 50. Way to go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, she hit that thing. She's come up so quietly behind it, just snuck up and just kind of nipped it, you know. And I, oh, man, yeah. That is a 50-incher, though, no doubt about it. I'm just gonna lift. I'm just gonna lift her up real quick. I'm gonna sure. Just, oh man. Have you snap a picture, okay? Okay. Take time. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. It's a 52 inch fish. I got it. Oh. Oh, it's a big fish. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Randy, get a picture. Just take a picture. Hurry. Sure. Okay. Oh, you okay. got her? Yep. It's all done. Ah, ah, yes! Thank you, Lord! <laughs> back in. 
Yes, absolutely, huh? Oh, look at that girl. Oh, sweetheart. Look at that baby. <laughs> Is that beautiful or what? Look at her. Yeah. Oh, thank you, baby doll. Oh, thank you. Looking good. There she goes. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, oh. oh, man. Oh, that fin saver. What an incredible net. She's sitting there. She's okay. She kind of busted up in my hands a little bit. Pretty anxious fish. Randy, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm enjoying fishing oh. with you, Bob. Randy, it's always been a pleasure. Folks, thanks for watching this week out of Century Lodge right here in Osborne Bay. I want to say thanks to Rich and Kay and Holly and of course Randy in the back of the boat. Precious people, precious friends, precious commodity right there. Giant muskies down here in this part of the lake. The next time you think about a big musky trip, come get slimed with us because that's what we do here at Century Lodge. Man, I'm telling you, we've worked and worked and worked. This is so cool. Good fish.